hell, oh hell, oh the Celts are here. Oh, what the heck do we do now? Oh hi there, Citizen Smart, me my Fergus Bonnet. I've just bought out the Celtic shop because just like everybody else, I've heard the news. The Celtic have been reinstated and I'm absolutely delighted. But uh, I want to say, first of all, I'm not really a Celtic fan, though I support them over the other mob. I support St Murn, but I'm just, uh, I've always admired Celtic as a club and I certainly support them wholeheartedly in European games. Uh, in every game, apart from when they play the Saints. But um, I just think there's a reason that this has happened uh, that you can't really explain. But if I could give you a wee anecdote, I was busking at Murrayfield on Wednesday night, the night of infamy when uh, they went down 2 0, 6 1 in aggregate, and we all thought we were out. And I was busking wearing a free Palestine t shirt. And even at the end, when the team was out of Europe, the Celtic fans were giving me the old thumbs up and free Palestine, and I've never seen as many Palestinian flags or even people wearing national Palestine football jerseys that they'd ordered off the internet and I'm going to get one but I just think I might be stretching this but they kind of earned that bit of luck with their support for, for Palestine and people in general and I remember I was playing right at the very end a uh, redemption song by Bob Gnarly because kind of celtic -y club songs were a bit kind of inappropriate and uh, literally a crowd, a big crowd, 20 or 30 Celtic fans passed and they were down and they saw the Free Palestine t-shirt and they heard Redemption song and they all just joined in so um, that's just a great club uh, and uh, I think great clubs deserve luck and Celtic got it so that's good and I've just actually come, I want to tell you another story I mentioned this, I sang Redemption song again in George Square this morning when uh, the Palestinian flag was going up and I mentioned specifically how the Celtic fans had joined in this song and chanted for Palestine and even threw in the wee line and they're, they're waiting, uh, they're waiting uh, some news from UEFA and let's hope it goes their way because uh, they deserve it and uh, then I'm motoring away from George Square at about 10am listening to Radio Scotland and it comes on the radio that Celtic are through and I thought that's karma, that's what you get for uh, standing by folks so that's my kind of point about Celtic and the wider point and I'm not here to, I'm wearing my Fergus McCann bonnet my yes badge my yes t-shirt but I'm not hearing a yes uh, crusade on this occasion because the Glasgow City Council when the flag went up there were many no voters and it was a lot of no voting councillors that were behind uh, a lot of the moves so I'm not wanting to make a cheap point but I think the wider point is uh, this thing about karma um, and I think uh, as a Yes supporter, I think how we behave, how we act towards other folk, including our opponents, including folk that can speak out very clearly, I think that makes a difference somewhere along the line. It might be the big man up there, it might just be vibe, make your own beliefs, but that's my other kind of belief in the context of this referendum. You know, if we earn, earn it, we'll get it. The way we act, to quote cop Donald Dewar, the late Donald Dewar, is how we carry ourselves is important. So. Uh, that's my wee message on the yes front and uh, the way Celtic carried themselves, the way the Celtic fans carry themselves. They got this for themselves but also uh, for Palestine because I got this flag. This was outside Murrayfield and we were waving that. There were more of them than Celtics, Celtic flags by the end. So uh, I think uh, the good man up there whether he's a Christian, a Muslim, a Catholic, or a Brody, or a Buddhist, saw these fans and thought, they're due a break. So they got a break, and maybe the other good guys are due a break a month from now. And I'll tell you something, I know there's no voting Celtic fans, but by God, the Celtic fans are right behind us already, and most of them are. And other clubs, and it's not a cheap point, Rangers, St Murn, my club, Harps, Hibs, Dundee, whoever, match the Celts on all fronts and we'll uh, do well, we'll win on 18th September and uh, Celtic finally, champions of Scotland but in more ways than one so let's get behind them in Europe and unite for the 18th September and beyond to create the country, the tighter country we all want to see this is me, Parkhead, and I'll end with another wee song for the Celts Oh 
And the Glasgow Celtic will be there Oh, and the Glasgow Celtic will be there Hail, hail! Did you see that one coming? Right. That's getting back in Europe. Right. No, we didn't see that. No, we didn't get interviewed though. I know, but I mean, I was just when I heard the news, I was just I was out the car jumping about like a lunatic. <laughs> I mean, we were out one time we wanted to get in, but like, because we had, they hadn't hanged me yet, confirmed the far back. Well, I mean, well, the, I was driving down to Glasgow this morning, listening to it in the radio, and you know that Celtic will hear it such and such a time today, what's happening, and I'm listening to it, and I'm just thinking, there's no way they're going to put the police, I'm thinking they'll find them or something, or they'll, ah, yeah. you know, what I mean, they'll, they'll wrap their knuckles, they're not going to actually put them out, mm-hmm. and then I get, went somewhere, went back in the car, 10 o'clock, same news, Radio Scotland, and now the sports news, Celtic are back, and honestly, I couldn't believe it. Because it's really lucky. I mean, let's go. If we'd gone out three... Well, I'm like, yeah, well, so they must be gutted. Dun, dun. dun. But they brought the guy on when they were 6-1 up in the aggregate. I mean, if they draw more than this, that's why I thought they wouldn't put us out. Ah, because yeah. it wasn't as though if the guy had scored the... Let's say the guy had scored the first goal it was on like, it Wednesday. Wasn't only like four minutes ah, to go they brought him on at I think it was about fifth, wood, or whatever it was. The dumbest thing ever, but I mean... Who's complaining? Why, why would they and bring also, let's see if, Also, let's see if the result would be 2 or two. Let's say they'd gone away in away goals or something like tight. But come on, we were fucking hammered, you know? <laughs> we were rushed. <laughs> I think we need to bring in some more players as well. Like. Oh, for sure, but now they can. That's just free money. I know. That's 10... We're doing nothing for losing two games. I'm saying they should give all the shops half a bonus today because they'll make cruising out of this place. The first, the first night in the Europe. Even if they don't get through. I bet we're going and... We'll not win it. I bet we do really well now. 